Hello, everyone, and welcome to All Things Medicare, brought to you by Statewide Insurers Group right here in Rocky Mount. I'm Joey Bright, one of your hosts, my partner, Cheryl Brazel. You probably have seen us with Linda. I know the program that everybody knows, To Your Health, a wonderful program. A lot of questions came in with our show last time with Linda on Medicare. And so we've been asked to come on the program to answer some of these questions, to simplify some of the problems that are going on every day when people are turning 65. And so Cheryl and myself, of course, being brought to you by statewide insurers right here in Rocky Mount, we want to kind of lead into that and talk, kind of solve some of the mystery about Medicare. Cheryl, I guess the best way to get started, I know we've looked at Part A, mm -hmm. Part B, and there's a Part C, and there's a Part D, and it seems like it just gets so convoluted. But Cheryl, you want to take it away and kind sure. of talk about Part A? Um, part A, simplest explanation I can give you. You're talking about the hospital, the building over there at Nash UNC. Mm -hmm. Part A takes care of your going into your hospital room. Uh, it also, it gives you a little coverage in skilled nursing facilities, and we'll get into that in a little more detail later on, because please understand the coverage that you get through skilled nursing care in your, in Medicare is not a substitute for planning for long-term care. And again, we'll, we'll talk about that, and, mm -hmm. and that's something you can give us a call at our office about and we'd be glad to sit down with you and give sure, you Sure, what is that telephone number? Yeah, 252-316-8166. And we're over, very simple to find, we're at the intersection of Country Club and Hunter Hill Road, across from the Pizza Inn. Gotcha. Yeah. In fact, in our listening audience, if you have it sitting on your couch, your sofa, I know you're reclining, look in your wallet or look in your purse and pull out your Medicare card. It is red, white, and blue. And on that card, it has Part A and Part B. Now, Cheryl was telling us about Part A, Alpha, the hospital. And I think, Cheryl, you're going to lead into a little bit with what was known as Part B, Bravo, which takes us a little bit deeper on that red, white, and blue card. Yes, and I will also add one thing in the Part A. It also <coughs> helps with some home health care expenses. Mm. And that is something that I was not as well versed in as I want to be. And so I had a meeting today with a local home health carrier. Here right in here town. in Rocky Mount? Yeah, local carrier here. And they did a, a good job of explaining that to me. I'm gonna meet with them one more time so I have that detail straight in, in what we can look to get from uh, Part A for, for home health care. Because that's, that's where people wanna stay if at all possible. Understood. To stay at their home instead of having to go to, you know, somewhere away from home. Um, Medicare Part B, doctor. When you go to the doctor's office, mm -hmm. it's going to pay that doctor for his services. It's going to pay for outpatient care. It's going to pay for the medical supplies that you used over in the hospital. Oh, in the hospital. Yeah, it's going to pay for those. And uh, also will pay for some preventive services. Uh, so that that's where that plays in. And a, a couple of things, too, to keep in mind. Uh, Medicare Part A, we don't pay for that. That right. is because we, we, we worked. We work all the time to get it. And Yes. Mm -hmm. if, if you have worked for 40 quarters in your career or longer, then you have sufficiently paid into the system so that you do not have a premium for Medicare Part A. Now, Medicare Part B, you do have a cost for that. Uh, and it's a little tied into your income. So, uh, for most people right now, the cost of a Medicare Part B premium is about $144.50 is, is your cost for that. Um, if you had a situation where maybe you inherited some money, you sold some property, you sold your home, sold some land, a, a family farm or something like that, uh, we can help you understand how to you or work with that if this was something that was done the two years before you were turning mm -hmm. 65. 
uh, we had a, uh, a client that this happened to several years back and, and that was my first experience with it mm -hmm. and so that that was educational for me to, to learn you know how to help somebody navigate uh, that situation. So, so it is an ongoing kind of process as we're learning. Even yeah. for you sitting in the listening audience, as Cheryl just explained, on that card you saw A alpha. So think of an upside down C. And that could be the hospital. You might have seen this when we were on Linda's show explaining that. And it kind of backs up what Mr. Brazel was saying. A is the building. It yeah. gets you a bed. B is the things that happen inside that building. Yeah. The doctors, the surgery. Um, uh, let's see, physical therapy. How about the medicines that are in that hospital? And that's what's on your card. Now, if you look at the bottom, Cheryl, they'll also see an effective date. Yes. Now, that effective date on that red, white, and blue card simply is the first day of the month that you turn 65. But so many people, Cheryl, have called up since this, which started this whole show. Well, what happens if I'm younger than 65 and I need Medicare? Well, there are many situations with that. So we encourage you, if that question pops up, to call us. Statewide Insurers Group, 316-8166, right here local. Cheryl, didn't you say, where is that across the street from? It's um, Pizza Inn. Pizza Inn. <coughs> Excuse me, Pizza Inn. Pizza Inn, so that's 880 Country Club Road? Correct. Outstanding. Right. So we're looking at Part A and we're looking at Part B. Cheryl, as we go into, didn't you say there is another situation looking at C, or there's a D or yes there's both of the above okay uh, one thing when you were touching on people under 65 certainly yeah. being uh, you know there's places where it's eligible for them to get Medicare coverage uh, another thing that we run into more and more because a lot of people are working beyond age 65 and they have stayed with their employer's plan oh very important yeah oh, they yes. stay with their employer's plan mm -hmm. and you know we were able to sit down with them and in some instances it is much more beneficial to that individual to come off of the employer plan and sign up for an individual so you're saying we have people that are working I guess simplified longer than 65 mm -hmm. which most people our parents I guess would say would have retired at 65 if not mm -hmm. earlier so they're staying on would you say till 70 Yes, we've had we've had some in our office that were we had one that was seventy one. I think that's the, the oldest person I've had that was. Well, doesn't that drive the cost up for that employer? Oh yes. Um, in fact, um, I had one employer here in the county that we were able to take care of about three individuals, and the savings for the individuals was pretty nice. It was definitely less expensive for them to be on Medicare, mm. and they had much lower deductibles. Um, and the employer was saving a lot of money because they were subsidizing the employees' health care. And, and at that particular time, all of these individuals that we worked with were in their early 70s. And so the employer was saving somewhere in the neighborhood of eight to nine hundred dollars a month per person. Per person. So in other words, what you're hearing here tonight, if you are 65, or say 60 to 65, 55 to 65, it seems like the insurance companies, and maybe I'm wrong, Mr. Brazel, they seem like as you get closer to 65, ladies and gentlemen, the price just keeps getting higher and higher and higher. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like you'd want to look at Medicare because you said earlier that is less expensive. Right. Would you say considerable? Depends. You know, it varies. Every single situation is different. Um, the most recent one I did his the 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 monthly cost that the individual was paying for health insurance. Mm -hmm. The if he went on Medicare and bought a Medicare supplement and a drug plan his monthly cost was going to be about seventy dollars a month less and instead of having his employer plan was a thirty five hundred dollar deductible mm -hmm. you know with his supplement he has a right now a one he has one one hundred ninety eight dollar a year deductible 
So what we're hearing here tonight, your part A, you've worked 40 quarters. That's your card you're staring at. That part A is given to you. I know you've worked for it all your life. It's not really given to you. What do you yeah, think? You earned it. Yeah. You earned it. Now, part B, Mr. Brazel has said, Cheryl has said, does it cost currently somewhere in the ballpark of $140 a month or is that $144? $144. Yeah. Is that a month or quarter? Per month. Per month. So that's usually taken out of? It can come out of your Social Security check. Okay. Um, if you turn 65 and sign up for Medicare, but you, you're not taking a Social Security benefit okay. at that point. Not getting your check. Not getting your Social Security check they will bill you on a quarterly basis. And you just pay that on? Right, on a quarterly basis, you'll, you would pay 430 some odd dollars a quarter. Just wrote a check for that. <laughs> so the experience that you have sitting here at the desk just tells you there is an easier way as long as you do understand. And the easiest way once you get started, a lot of people say, well, Joey, Cheryl, how do I even get started? I'm 64 and a half, what do I do? Give us a call, we can guide you through that. Mm -hmm. Secondly, Social Security office. Yes, however, they are not open right now. They're not open right so now? That pause brings on a little bit of a problem, getting in touch with them. You can do it online. Now, uh, why wouldn't they be open right now? It's this thing that's been going around, something about a... Oh, the pan, virus. The, the virus. Pandemic. There you go. Correct. That's it. I'm sure everybody out there has put up with something and knows somebody that has or has not. But just know you have an avenue to get that red, white, and blue mm -hmm. card. Mm -hmm. You have a way to get your Part A and Part B. Is there a something, I guess, would be um, Part C, maybe Part yeah. D? Yes. If you'd like, we're looking at, in fact, I've just been notified, you can tell, we're just winging this and having a wonderful time, but we're getting ready to take us a station break. Hang in there, come back with us. We look forward to telling you about Part C and Part D of what we call All Things Medicare. Stay tuned. If you recently lost your job and your health coverage due to the COVID-19 pandemic and you think you may be eligible for Medicare, you probably have more questions than answers right now. Statewide Insurers Group, All Things Medicare, can help you with that. We can provide the guidance and the answers that you need to get the benefits you may be eligible for. Don't let this time of uncertainty jeopardize your eligibility for your Medicare benefits. Remember. Relationships matter. Call Statewide Insurers Group today for the answers that you need now. 316-8166. And we're back. It's for the last segment. It seems like, Cheryl, a 30-minute program just kind of comes and goes. Mm -hmm. We hope in that first part you did gain some information on that part A and part B. The second part of our show, what we'd like to introduce is a plan. It's what we look at, you hear so many letters, A, B, D, C, what have you. But Cheryl is going to tell us a bit about part C. C. And I'm going to help him on that, but he's going to take it away. But part C is a whole other animal, but it gives you the viewership in our areas who's watching this program in 17 counties. It gives you options. It gives you choices that you're able to do what? That hard-earned money, keep it in your wallet, but still maintain some wonderful, wonderful coverage. Mm -hmm. Cheryl, that was Part C. Yes. Um, Part C plans are, are called Medicare Advantage plans. And I know you're being bombarded with those on TV right now. Uh, there's some former football player is. I believe that be, uh, <laughs> yes it is. Yes. Uh -huh. He's leading the pack on the advertising on those things. That's Joe Namath. Joe Namath. I understand. That's it. Yes. That's it. We all grew up with him now. I know That's you remember. It. That's it. Um, the Medicare Advantage plans, when you enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan, you basically are contracting or hiring a private company okay. that has contracted with Medicare 
to provide you with your Part A and Part B benefits. Um, they also, there are five or six variations mm -hmm. of a Medicare Advantage plan. Each one has a few little things that are different, mm -hmm. and they have you know some different. Each one you know addresses certain scenarios. You know, you, you told me one time earlier, Cheryl, and this is again for our viewing audience to think about it this way. Cheryl looked at me one time. He said, "Joey, think of health insurance. Mm -hmm. Health insurance has copays, deductibles, and coinsurance. Your max out of pocket, your drug plans." And everyone sitting out there, at least most of us, we've been blessed to have health coverage. And it's very expensive now, and we're still blessed to have it. Now, Cheryl and I, we're talking about Medicare. That's what we're on, is Medicare. So having said that, Medicare Part C is inflated health coverage. What does that mean? Your Part C Medicare Advantage has copays for the primary doctor, mm -hmm. specialist. Specialist, yep. Deductibles. Hospital stay. The thing that's, hospital stays. Yeah. But the thing that's different about this, and Cheryl's gonna elaborate on this, but depending on where you live, mm -hmm. there may be no cost at all for this insurance, depending on the network. In fact, Cheryl, you go ahead. Yes, sir. Um, what Joey's saying is exactly right when you purchase a Medicare Advantage plan, you always, the, the, you know, we will always find out from our client who is your primary care physician, mm -hmm. you know, who do you Who's work with, mm -hmm. uh, are there any specialists that you're seeing on a regular basis, and we make sure that we can find you a Medicare Advantage plan that those doctors are a part of, mm -hmm. that they're, they're members of. Uh, so you do not have to worry about, you know, uh, getting your coverage taken care of. So that Part C is actually health care coverage, but it's under Medicare, is that correct? Right, well, it's a private company. It is a still. It is a private company that is managing and your health those care. private companies are who we grew up with. Mm -hmm. um, I guess that would be United Healthcare. United Healthcare Health care in North Carolina, United Healthcare is, is, is pretty, pretty large. Understood. Aetna mm -hmm. is another one. Cigna. Cigna. Okay. Um, now uh, there's several more, um, but you know again, it's a private company that's managing your benefits. Now, what about uh, the cost factor on that, Cheryl? You know, every carrier that we use has at least one plan, if not two or three, that are zero cost to the client. I would think that would be important to our listening yes. audience. Yes, and you say, well, how do they do that? Mm -hmm. um, Medicare, in their infinite wisdom along the way, decided that, you know, some of these companies do a, a more effective job of, of managing mm. the health care dollars. And so your Medicare account, they take money from that account and give it to this insurance company to manage your health. Do they pay for, now remember we talked about A and B. Cheryl said, A, you're given, B, you have to pay for. Mm -hmm. There's a cost, mm -hmm. $144. Yeah. Does the Medicare Advantage pay for the client to have? Some do, some don't. Interesting. Um, there's uh, a couple that pay for the entire mm -hmm. $144. Uh, there are some that pay a portion. You know, it can be anywhere from $25 on up. Understood. So it just it varies by carrier. Oh, so okay. really on that, it seems like it could be a little confusing. Mm -hmm. That's what Mr. Browsel does at Statewide Insurers Group. Pick up the phone, give them a call, especially if there's interest from group side and people are doing what? Getting ready to retire. Yes. Going from 64 and a half to mm -hmm. 65. Mm -hmm. And there's some of you out there that do have a Medicare Advantage, maybe original Medicare, and you'll know what I'm saying here, mm -hmm. called a Plan G, as in girl. Mm -hmm. Some had Plan F, F, as in Frank, and you may not be happy with those. Always look, can I get a better program, a better policy for less money? Do a little investigation, especially during these times that we're living in now that 
have been new really for mm -hmm. all of us. Mm -hmm. But Cheryl, as far as Part C, we go into Part D. So to recap, you've had A, hospital, B, medical, anything in that hospital, right. C, a Medicare Advantage plan that has co-pays, deductibles, co-insurance, but the beauty of it is there are some plays, uh, plans that Cheryl had said that have no cost at all. Right. Cheryl, what about this Part D that we have? That is your prescription drug plan. And where the separate Part D comes into play is if you have original Medicare, A and B, and you purchase a supplement to go on top of that, then you have to purchase a separate prescription drug plan. Okay, well help me here before we go any further. Does a Part C Medicare Advantage, because you're telling the audience now about a Part D drugs, mm -hmm. does that Part C, not to get confusing, Medicare Advantage, does it, does it have a built-in drug plan with it? Yes, it does, and that's why you always need to, and I, and I ask these questions, and that's why you know we need to know what prescriptions you're taking, because every plan is going to be different on how they treat prescription cost. I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, and we have a program um, that we use in the office that if you bring me your list of medications, we plug in the information, you know, the, the name of the medication and your dosage, mm -hmm. how often you take it, and then it will bring up for us every plan that is available for the county that you live in. Okay. So actually and the best plans that are for that individual yes, client. On average it brings up 28 plans. Wow. And it can be a huge difference in cost. And it pays for you to shop this plan. That's something we try to do for our clients is you know, call them and say, hey, are you taking anything different right now than you were taking? Because it, it, it changes every year. So is there a time frame that our listening audience has to call in or has, yes. um, go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I would ask you to call in during this month, during September, mm. and give us your information and that gives us time to run the program, find out what's the best program for you and then re be able to relay that information to you so that when October 15th rolls around, if you decide you're going to go from Plan XYZ to Plan LMNO. Now, what's special about October 15th? That's called the annual enrollment period. Annual that, enrollment yes. period. Okay. And that's when you can make changes to your prescription drug. Is that plan. the only time? That you is could... the only time, unless you're coming on new age 65, gotcha. you know, mm -hmm. at any time during the course of the year. Um, and then let's say you're leaving an employer group, mm -hmm. you know, you're over 65, but you've had continuous coverage, then you would get a special enrollment period then. So, so just for me, let me make sure I understand. October 15th to December 7th, December 7th is called annual enrollment period. Mm -hmm. And that's the time you make changes to your drug plan. Yes. And you talk about your Medicare or make any changes there. So. Outside of that, Cheryl, what you're telling the listening audience, there is a special enrollment period for special situations. Correct. And you would convey that to the clients right. whenever they come into the yes. office. Yes. Now, when they come into the office, uh, Cheryl, is there a, how do you meet them? Do we meet the needs of the mask and what we're having to do with the virus and all of these precautions? How, how does your yes. office handle that? Yes. We have an office that we use to, to meet with clients. Mm -hmm. And so that way we're kind of, we're able to you really keep that space controlled controlled and uh, you know we're we're wearing masks doing you know what the protocols have called for. cleaned after every visit yeah, clean, or what happened after we go in and and you know after after the individual leaves so so we're following the protocols because you know unfortunately Mr. Bright and I are in the high risk group. <laughs> we are and that's the whole thing about Medicare and the reason we're having this show tonight and Cheryl, it's been a quick, quick 30 mm -hmm. minutes. Mm -hmm. I hope our listening audience have found something informative, something you can look at your spouse and say, I did not know. Mm -hmm. There's always something that we can learn because the federal government changes these plans yearly. yearly. 
And the best way to stay on top of your game and to understand what you have is the best thing for you, your spouse, and your family is to make sure you give a call to find out if you do have the best for your family. Mm -hmm. And the easiest way to do that is pick up the phone and call? Yes. That'd be statewide at? 252-316-8166. 316-8166. Yep. Corner of Country Club and Hunter Hill Road. We're glad you tuned in. We're hoping to have Linda back. She's on vacation. We look forward to coming back. One quick note, when we come back this time, we'll be dealing with veterans. Yes and how Medicare affects them. Tune in. We look forward to seeing and hearing from you. You have a good evening. From Cheryl and myself, Joey, thanks again. Good evening. Good night. Center, and we've seen over 15,000 different people in the Rocky Mount area. 40% of headaches actually come from a neck problem. Many patients come in taking multiple aspirin, over-the-counter medications and such a day, and we can get you to stop doing that and actually fix the problem so the headaches don't rise anymore. A lot of people think chiropractic hurts. It does not. Most of the people come in and they feel great when they leave doesn't like furniture shopping, but he does love all the deals happening at Badcock Home Furniture and more. And this Labor Day, we're taking the work out of redecorating at our stellar Labor Day sale. Save up to 50% on select items, including popular bedding, all with no credit refused. Enjoy stylish savings that add comfort to your home, only at Badcock's Labor Day sale. For details, visit badcock.com. Thank you.